okay uh, today we will see aggregate operators next uh, union intersect and accept operators मल्टीपल स्क्रीन से शेयर जेल What is password, ma'am? Root. Sorry. Root, sir. Can you speak loudly? Root. R O O T. Next, how to create a database? Create. or use what are the databases we created already db1 db1 right so how how to uh, see what are the database available or using which query show database. show databases show databases that means what we can see all available databases next how to see all tables available in a database and uh, where we are on which database we are using how to use particular database what is the query use, use database. database name use database name which database D data what is the database name you want right Yes. Sir. In DB one, what table we have? Only one table we created. That it. Uh, the table name is what? Employee. 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 How to see all the tables? What is the query? Show tables, right? Note down this uh, charisma. Need to practice in lab. How to display the table? Table and table data. Select star from table name. Select star from table name is what here? Employee. I want to see. what uh, what are the columns available in the uh, table and what are the data types uh, primary key not null or constraints are available or not this type of data i want to see what is the query describe table describe. see that means what i want to see logical level of data view of data we have concept like data abstraction physical level logical level and view level how to see logical level describe 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 table name only right see what is the data here 
and the data types relation among the data this called as logical level data next i want to see only the employees who are having id is null who don't have ids i want to see that data only how can i see select star from employee where id equals to null select star from employee where id equals to null here id equal to null it eid right eid equal to null null now i showing you anything are you watching select employee id from employee where eid not equal to null that means we are avoiding all null values and displaying only the data maybe where id is null sir i think we should inverted not give inverted commas yes you are right next star see who are having null ids that data only we are displaying here in this way we can retrieve the data from the database and we can display Uh, for particular person or uh, group of persons based on null value or not null values we can display here okay that all the things we discuss last today we are going to discuss union intersect and except operators union means to do union you need to create two tables we already created employee table and we will create another table and we can do union both of the table union means combine rows from both queries in that way we have intersect intersect means keep only rows in common to both queries we can gather only common values from the both tables except except means keep rows from left query that aren't include in the right query 
we'll see practically then you can understand easily for that what is the requirement we require here we need to create another table right tell me how to create the table create tell me the query create table tell me the create query create i want table. to create one student table how to create create, create table student create table student next query student having properties like roll number name and id name student address address etc now student id is which type tell me the data types int student name So now table is created, right? How to insert data into the table? Tell me the insert query. Insert into table name. Insert into table name. What is the table name here? What are the columns available? Student ID, name, student address, values of next student ID one, student name, where can details how we can store? within the single quotation right next address if i want to insert multiple values with the single query single insert query how can i store separate with commas i want to store multiple values at a time by using single insert query what is the query insert into tell me the syntax values insert into insert into student student, student. student id student name student address values of how to differentiate by using semi uh, sorry comma right then again next row i am going to insert separate with comma next to again some other row. right tell me the data example data sid s name can i give empty data how to insert empty data just give double quotation 
next next row of data student id student name next student address if i don't want to given anything here what will be store in the table you double quotation yes i can give double quotation or single quotation while i am inserting string data how to see uh, what data we inserted till now how to display the table table name is what so now we have two tables See, we have student table and employee table now what should i do by using union operator i can combine both the tables i can combine both the tables how can i combine what is the query how to do union see the syntax here select column names from table 1 next union operator next select column name from table 2 this is the syntax now tell me the query how can i combine these two tables anyone this is the query we have tables student and employee i want to combine both tables tell me the query Select cars from student union union operator. Next to select star from employee. Can I give like this? Can I give like this? no we can't give so that's why we need to give column names particular column names what data want to be combined that data we can give here see what are the columns you want to combine tell me from student table select sid comma s name comma s address from student union select here what are the column names available from employee hey ma'am e name address from employee
select statements have different number of columns. That means what we should give same name, right? Combine only. I think you understand the case right here. Here both table column names must be same. Then only we can do union. In both table we are, our column names are different, right? That's why we are unable to do union. See, if I want to do, I want to, I should alter the column names. I should alter the column names.
now i am renaming the both table names as same so id student id a column name is id and employee column name id is id then i can do union operation i can do union operation now can i do right yes all of you cr are you there are you listening ma yes sir okay what is the problem here if i want to do union the column names must be same from the both tables right so here from student table i change that means i renamed as sid into id s name into name i can't uni i can't do union operation through s address because names must be column names must be same from the both tables write down this query also select id name from student union select id name from employee you understand union right combining both tables data for that we need to have same column names in the both tables if i want to do intersect means common data both tables common data
Seema here, union operator. So, okay. Mm. Mm. See, union operator. Uh, the, see the rules first. Union operator used to combine result set of two or more select statements. So each select statement within union must have the same number of columns. The columns must also have similar data types. The column in each select statement must also be same order. The column names also must be in same order. If you are giving ID, there also you should call ID. Data types, if uh, ID data type here int means in second table also data type must be int. So here if you are calling two columns, if you are asking two columns, the second table also you must call two columns only. Then only we can do union operation. We can combine both tables data. Next union all. Union operator selects only distinct value by default. By default selects only distinct values. To allow duplicate values, use union all also. Union all represents what? It allow both tables duplicate data also. That means what? It will display everything from the both tables. It displays both tables, all data, union all. Next rule. The column names in the result set are usually equal to the column names in the first select statement in the union. This you need to remember. I said right order, ascending order, descending order. Can I do here? I want to display ID and name in order. How? Are you observing, ma'am? Here we are displaying our data in ascending order by. ID based on ID. You can do based on name also. See, order by column name is what? Name right. Based on name also, we can do it. We can do where condition. One by one, we can see letters. Next, we will see like query. All table data. 
LXR from employee. Like operator, like operator used in where uh, where class to search for specified pattern in a column. There are uh, two while while cars after used conjunction with the like operator. Percentage symbol that percent sign represents zero, one or multiple characters. Underscore represents single character. See how to use like 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 query. See if you use percentage symbol after a is showing only. any values that start from start with a if you use percent symbol before a letter it finds any values that ends with the a if i use a letter in between percentage both percentages then it finds any values that have or in any position we we see uh, these three values now if you use percentage operator after the letter so uh, that letter words we can see here starting letter words for example i have a table employee if i want to display names of the table that names starting letter must be starts with s must be start with s i want to display the names of the employee starting letter must be s so how can i display using like query select start from employee like employee where name like starting letter means next percentage percentage symbol now i can see the letters only starting with s select name from employee where name like s see all the names all the names starting letter is s only okay if i want to display ending letter ending letter we have here right ending letter with a empty set sorry if it is ending letter means we should give percentage symbol before the letter before the letter see here name ending letter is what a we can display by using like query next if i use both percentage symbols then it shows that if that word having any a letter then it displays that word having any 
a letter a character in that word i can display by using person both percentages so in, the, in in this way we can search the data see in google we are searching with a letter right it to displaying all starting letter a right so by using which query what is the query they are using here like query only like query are you understanding can anyone reply to me how you understand like query yes sir not understand see if i use sir. percentage symbol after the letter it display starting word if i use percentage symbol before the letter i can display ending letter words if i want to display the words any letter then i can give both percentages both percent symbols see the example you can understand easily this is employee table i want to display only names from this a uh, name column from the table see how to display only the name name column to name column select name from employee Employed. see we having names shiva surya satish all letters starting uh, start, all words starting letter is what yes right i want to see only starting letter s the data how can i display select name from employee there name like select only name column i want to display select name from employee select name from employee and Where? starting letter which statement contains contains starting letter s yes. i can display that words only where name like name like name like percentile s percentile percentile s yes, percentile what s percentile sir yes percentile then i can display all starting letters with s where is the where condition ma correct name from employee where where name like s yes, percentile you may understand i think i insert different data insert into employee values of four comma values of insert into employee values of same values spelling sir okay. spelling employee spelling employee okay
column count does not match the value count at row one. Employee has four columns. Salary also, sir. Salary also there. What is the structure of employee table? What are the columns available? Okay. Now I want to insert ID, name, address, then salary. see the data I want to see only name column starting letter must be S what is the query which query I can write select name from employee the name from employee where where name like like S percentile. Yes. Percentile. Only starting letter with S symbol we can display. I want to display the letters ending letter A. Can change the query. Percentile A. Percentile A. See only ending letter A. The words are displayed here. See the A letter in between any in between any word it must, it must be displayed so which names contains u letter among the words i want to display select a name either it will be uh, in star use star u star Percentile U star. Percentile U percentile. Percentile person in between. Mm. U. Then I can display A letter. U sir. Next star represents. Underscore, sir. Underscore. If I want to add some column names, employee, how can I add? Employee having employee ID, employee name, employee address, and salary. I want to add another column. Employee department. How to add through the query? We are adding column means we are altering the table. So alter table table name. Add 
कालम डीईपीटी डेटा टाइप बैर कैर साइज ट्वेंटी Last one. Are you able to view this table? Now I added one column to the table. What is the query to add column to the table? All the table. All the table. Add column, column name, data type and size. Now I want to update, update employee department data. Instead of null, I want to insert something. I need to use update query. Sir. How can I update? Tell me update query. Tell me update query. Instead of null, I want to insert CSC. How can I update? Tell me update query. Update. Update table. Update table. Employee. Set. E department equals to CSC. E department. Equal to. Can I use single code or uh, double quotes? Any of them. Yes, sir. Any of them can use. Double code also we can use. Hmm. Yes. Department name, branch or whatever. CSC next. Where I need to set? Need to give ID or name, right? Where? Name equal to one. Now check whether it is updated or not. Updated, right? Did you understand? Yes, sir. Sir. Okay, time up, sir. right? Tomorrow we will yes, see sir. all the alternate queries. Okay, how to rename a uh, table name or column name, Sandal. Okay. Thanks for attending these classes. Thank you.